we're going to be downloading and installing the NVDA screen reader. NVDA stands for Non-Visual Desktop Access. And a screen reader is a program that reads the print on the screen, either where you're pointing the mouse or where you're controlling the computer with the keyboard to give you audio feedback of what's happening so that if you're low vision or have no vision, you can use the computer. Before we get started downloading and installing NVDA, we're going to be turning on the Windows Narrator, which is another screen reader that comes built into Windows 7, 8, or 10. Now, Windows Narrator is not as fully featured as NVDA. That's why we won't be using it full time, but it is enough to get us to the website to download and install NVDA. I'll also be using the Windows Magnifier to give us a better view of what's going on on the screen. So let me turn on Windows Narrator first. To do that, I'm going to hold down the Windows key and the Control and tap the Enter key. Narrator dialog, OK, button, Alt plus O, heads up. Narrator keyboard changes. We've updated the narrator keyboard layout so it more closely matches the experience you may have had with other screen readers. If you want narrator to tell you what commands are associated with the keys you're pressing, you can turn on input learning by pressing caps lock plus one. To turn it off, press caps lock plus one twice. To learn more, press control plus windows logo key and N to open your narrator settings and access the online user guide. So when we first start Narrator, we have a dialog box that appears, giving us a little introduction to some keyboard changes that they've made since the last version of Narrator. Just going to press the Enter key to dismiss this dialog box. Narr narrator heading level 1. Welcome to Narrator. This is Narrator Home, where you can get help, access your settings, and learn about new features. Narrator is a screen reader that describes aloud what's on your screen, so you can use that information to navigate your device. To start or stop Narrator, press the Windows logo key plus Control plus Enter. Explore the sections below to get started. Quick Start, Button, Alt, Q. So we have a screen that comes up giving us a little introduction about Narrator, telling us what it is, how to turn it on, turn it off. That's the Windows key, Control and Enter. I'm going to minimize this. To do that, I'm going to tab until I find the Minimize button and then press the space bar to activate the Minimize button. Narrator Guide, What's New, Settings, Feedback, Show Narrator Home when Narrator starts checkbox checked. Link, Start Narrator after sign in, Exit Narrator, Minimize, Button, Alt, M. Task Bar, Pane, Scan Off. We're back to the desktop with Narrator running. I'm going to turn on the Windows magnifier. I'm going to hold down the Windows key and tap the plus a few times until it's a good size. Add, 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 add. So now we're using Windows Narrator and Windows magnifier to not only enlarge the screen, but also give us some verbal feedback about what's happening on screen. So to download NVDA, first we have to go to the nvaccess.org website you can use any web browser that you're comfortable with or that you may have on your computer. I'm going to be using Microsoft Edge. To open the internet browser with Windows, you can tap the Windows key. Start window, Cortana, search box, edit. That opens your start menu and puts you into the search box. I'm going to type the word internet and the first thing that comes up in the list should be my web browser. I-N-T-E-R-N-E-T. Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Recommended Browser, press right to switch preview, one of five, selected. I hear Microsoft Edge is currently selected. I'm going to press Enter to open the Edge browser. Pane. New tab, Profile 1, Microsoft Edge window, App Bar, Address and Search Bar, Edit, Control plus L, Search Landmark. Now, when we open the Edge browser, it automatically put us into the address bar at the top of our screen. If you're not sure whether or not you're focused on the address bar, you can hold Alt and tap the letter D, as in David. D. Now that we're in the address bar, I'm going to tap the name of the website. N V A C C E S period O R G. 
nvaccess.org and press enter. Address and search bar, edit, www.nvaccess.org, control plus L, search landmark, loading complete, https colon slash slash www.nvaccess.org selected. Now if he starts talking too much and you need to tell him to shush, if you tap either control key on your keyboard, the left or the right, that'll momentarily shush him so that you can continue navigating the screen. Now that we have the website loaded, we're looking for the download link. So I'm going to be tabbing until I find download link. Add this page to fa favorites, collections, profile one pro settings and more. NV access link. NV access empowering lives through non-visual access to technology. Link. Donate. Link. Home. Link. About. Link. Download. There's the download link. I'm going to activate the link by pressing enter. Loading page. Loading complete. NV access download. So we're on the download page now. I'm going to continue using the tab key and I'm looking for a download button. It should be just after the donation options. Link. NV access. Link. Donate. Link. Home. Link. About. Link. Download. Link. Get help. Link. Corporate slash government. Link. News. Link. Support us. Link. Shop. Link. NVDA2. No donation. Skip donation this time. Download. Button. There's the download button. To activate that button, I'm going to press the enter key. Loading. Loading complete. Alert downloading 24.4 megabytes. NVDA underscore 2020.3.exe. Alert download complete. NVDA underscore 2020.3.exe. Now that the download is complete, we can close Microsoft Edge. I'm going to use Alt F4. So I'm going to hold the Alt key and tap F4. Desktop list. Recycle bin. 1 of 15. We've closed Microsoft Edge. We're back to our desktop. So now that we have the file downloaded, we need to find it so we can install it. Should be in our downloads folder. The way I'm going to open the downloads folder is first, I'm going to open File Explorer. If I hold down the Windows key and tap the letter E. E. File Explorer window. Frequent folders. Desktop. 1 of 6. Desktop. Non-selected. Now when you open the File Explorer, in the list, you will be able to find the Downloads folder. If you're not sure where it is in this list, or if you can't see well enough to find it, you can tap the letter D, as in Download, until you hear it. D downloads, 2 of 6. Downloads, selected. We found the Downloads folder. I'm going to press Enter to open the folder. Today, Table Items View has two rows, four columns, NVDA underscore 2020.3. One of one, non-selected. So we found the file that we downloaded, NVDA 2020.3. It said not selected, which means it's not highlighted, so I can't press enter yet to open this file. One way I can select it is by using the down arrow to go down. Last week, last week, one. And then up to go back up to it. Today, NVDA underscore 2020.3, one of one, selected. Now it says that file is selected, and I can press Enter to run the installation file. Text. Please wait while setup is loading. Unable to move narrator cursor. Downloads window. Today, table items view. Has two rows, four columns. NVDA underscore 2020.3, one of one. Loading NVDA. N NVDA dialog. License, license agreement. agreement. License Agreement Edit Read Only Multi-Line NVDA License. At this point, we have two screen readers trying to talk to us at the same time. I'm going to turn off Windows Narrator, since NVDA is now running. To turn it off, we can do the same keystroke that we used to turn it on, Windows Control Enter. Exiting Narrator. So now that we've closed Narrator, we only have NVDA running. And the first place it puts us in the install process is in the license agreement area. We can use the up or down arrow key to read through this license agreement if we want to. I'm going to use the tab key to find the I agree checkbox. 
I agree checkbox not checked alt plus a it's currently not checked I'm gonna check that checkbox with the space bar space checked and then tab once again to get to the install NVDA button install NVDA on this computer button alt plus I to activate that button I'm going to press the space bar again Sp install NVDA dialog to install NVDA to your hard drive please press the continue button options grouping Use NVDA during sign-in checkbox checked. We have another dialog box that gives us some more options. I'm going to uncheck the option that says use NVDA during sign-in. That's just a personal preference for me and this computer. If this is going to be the only screen reader that you use, you might want to leave this checked, especially if you need help um, with reading the screen when you're having to put in a password or choose a profile before you log into Windows. For me, I'm going to uncheck this box using the space bar. Space. Not checked. I'm going to press the tab to move to the next item. Create desktop icon and shortcut key. Control plus Alt plus N. Check box checked Alt plus D. We're going to leave this checked because it's nice to have the option of starting NVDA from the desktop icon. This also gives us the option to start NVDA with a keyboard shortcut, Control Alt N. I'm going to tab to move to the continue button. Continue button Alt plus C. I'm going to use the space bar to press continue button. Spa installing NVDA dialog. Please wait while NVDA is being installed. Success dialog successfully installed NVDA. Please press OK to start the installed copy. OK button. So it tells us that it has successfully installed NVDA. It's asking us to press OK to start the installed copy. We're already on the OK button, so I'm just going to tap the space bar. Space download. Welcome to NVDA dialog. Welcome to NVDA. Most commands for controlling NVDA require you to hold down the NVDA key while pressing other keys. By default, the numpad insert and main insert keys may both be used as the NVDA key. You can also configure NVDA to use the caps lock as the NVDA key. Press NVDA plus N at any time to activate the NVDA menu. From this menu, you can configure NVDA, get help, and access other NVDA functions. Options grouping, keyboard layout, combo box desktop collapsed alt plus K. The first time NVDA runs after being installed, it's going to show the Welcome to NVDA dialog with a few more options for how we want NVDA to work. The first option it gives us is whether we're using a laptop or a desktop keyboard layout. If your keyboard has a numpad on the far right side, you're probably going to want to leave this set to desktop if you're using a laptop with a smaller keyboard or maybe a Bluetooth keyboard that doesn't have a number pad, you would want to choose the laptop. To do that, you would just use the up or the down arrow. Laptop. Down arrow switches it to laptop. I'm going to switch it back to desktop using the up arrow. Desktop. I'm going to tab to the next option. Use caps lock as an NVDA modifier key checkbox not checked alt plus U. By default, the NVDA key is the insert key on your keyboard. If you have trouble finding the insert key, or maybe it's in an odd location on your keyboard, you may choose to use the caps lock key as the NVDA modifier key. For my keyboard, I'm happy using the insert, so I'm going to tab to the next option. Start NVDA after I sign in checkbox not checked alt plus A. If this is your main screen reader program, you would probably want to check this box so that NVDA will start every time you log into Windows. I'm going to leave it unchecked because other people use this computer. Show this dialog when NVDA starts checkbox checked Alt plus S. I don't want to see this dialog box every time NVDA starts, so I'm going to uncheck this box by tapping the space bar. Space. Not checked. I'm going to tab one more time to get to the OK button. OK button. And I'm going to activate it using space. Sp NVDA usage data collection dialog in order to improve NVDA in the future. NV Access wishes to collect usage data from running copies of NVDA. 
Data includes operating system version, NVDA version, language, country of origin, plus certain NVDA configurations such as current synthesizer, braille display, and braille table. No spoken or braille content will be ever sent to NV access. Please refer to the user guide for a current list of all data collected. Do you wish to allow NV access to periodically collect this data in order to improve NVDA? Remind me later button Alt plus L. I'm going to tab to the Yes button and activate it using the spacebar. Yes button Alt plus Y. Sp Downloads window. Items view list. Today grouping expanded. Envda 2020.31 of 2. Now we're back to the Downloads folder. NVDA is running. We can close the Download folder at this point using Alt F4. Desktop list. Recycle bin not selected 1 of 16. We're back to our desktop and we can see we have an NVDA icon up there in the top left corner. If I want to quit NVDA, I can use Insert Q. So I'm going to hold the Insert key and tap the letter Q. Exit NVDA dialog. What would you like to do? Combo box exit collapsed Alt plus D. Exit is already chosen. I can press Enter or I can tab down to the OK button. OK button. And then tap the space bar. To start NVDA back up, we can use the shortcut that we heard earlier, Control alt n Taskbar. If I need to make any changes to the NVDA options, I can use Insert N as an NVDA to bring up the menu. NVDA menu. And then we can use our arrow keys to go up or down through this menu. Preferences submenu P. Enter to open the submenus. Settings. Speech dictionary sub punctuation slash symbol pronunciation. To get out of the menus, I can use the escape key. Preferences sub desktop list. Recycle bin not selected one of 16. One nice thing about NVDA is that it will read to you what you're pointing at with the mouse pointer. So if I take my mouse and start desktop. pointing at different desktop icons. VLC Media Player. FS Reader 3.0. Firefox. Dolphin Guide Connect. Open Office 4.1.5. Recycle Bin. NVDA. Desktop. Now even if you're not using the mouse to navigate your computer and you're using the keyboard, maybe you can't see the mouse pointer, it's still going to read to us as we navigate the computer with the keyboard. If I tap the Windows key to open my Start menu. Start window. Cortana window. Search box edit blank. I can either type to search to find a program, or I can use my down arrow to look through my list. All apps list. VLC media player. VLC. VL. Number. 3D viewer. A group. Access 2000. Acrobat reader DC. Or if I want to go to my desktop to find one of my icons, I hold Windows and tap the letter D. Desktop list. Recycle bin not selected one of 16. That puts us onto the desktop, and we can use the arrow keys to navigate there as well. Dolphin Guide Connect to Firefox, FS Reader 3.04, VLC Media Player, Zoom Text 2020 15 of 16. That's it for downloading and installing NVDA. Even if you're going to be using JAWS or some other screen reader, because NVDA is free and so easy to download and install, it's a nice tool to keep in your tool belt to keep on the computer for those instances where JAWS is not available. Thanks for watching and have a great day.